from Gulam Muzammil. I am a fresher in IT professional from middle class background. All tax saving options available in India have haram component involved, less or more in quantity. My question is regarding the most popular scheme that generally Muslims use that is ELSS mutual funds. The fund manager invests the money in a portfolio of companies and it gives us variable returns. Note, we cannot pick and choose companies, we can only choose portfolio. The money invested here can be shown to income tax agency to save tax. If I invest here, I can save about 35,000 rupees tax that is being deducted from my account. I am aware that almost all portfolio have companies of banks, insurance, finance, etc. We can say 30 to 40 percent of companies of the portfolio. Considering I am willing to give all money earned from this scheme to charity without the need of sawab, can I invest here just for tax saving purpose? P.S. The other Sharia compliant funds like Tata Ethical Fund cannot be used to save tax as they are open in its scheme. If the answer of above question is not allowed, do you know of any Sharia compliant scheme where Muslims can save tax in India? Jazakallah khair. Brother Ghulam Mozambil has asked that he is an IT professional and Alhamdulillah's grace, he has a good salary. And in India, you can save your tax by investing in certain schemes in which the government has given permission. But most of the schemes where you are allowed to invest in which there is tax saving, it involves in riba. And he gave an option that he invest in mutual funds, which he is ELSS mutual fund. I am not aware of this fund. I have left India since many years. Now it is about somewhere close to seven years since I left India. The ELSS is a mutual fund is saying if we invest in this we get tax exemption but he knows that in the uh, mutual fund is a fund where you invest and the portfolio manager he chooses many companies so that you can uh, mitigate your risk. But he knows that most of the companies in the mutual fund are banks and uh, the uh, interest related companies, maybe 30 to 40 percent according to him. So is it permitted even if he agrees to give all his income in charity, is it permitted? Riba is a major sin in Islam, taking interest or usury is haram in Islam and, it, and according to Imam al dhabi it is the twelfth major sin in Islam. And Allah says in Surah Baqarah chapter number 2, verse number 217 and 279, that give up your demands of riba, of interest. And if you give up not your demands of riba interest, take notice of Allah from Allah and His Rasul. That means if you involve in riba, Allah and His Rasul will wage war against you. And there are many verses of the Quran that makes riba prohibited. And various hadith, and a beloved poet also said, that riba has got various levels. The lowest level of riba is like doing zina with your mother. Imagine, so bad it is. It is one of the major sins in Islam. Then a question. Can you invest in mutual funds in which 30 to 40 percent of the company is, is dealing in riba? And the answer is no. You are not permitted to invest in mutual funds in which 30 to 40 percent of the companies are non Sharia compliant or companies which deal in Raba. I have given this answer in detail maybe a year ago, where I have told that what are the, in which stocks can you exchange, there are five criteria that the core product should be halal, second, it should not have a cash debt ratio of more than 30 percent, some say 10, some say 20, there should not be any haram income, or if the income is there, should be less than 5 percent. There are various clauses which I have mentioned. In short, Investing in ELSS to save tax is not, is not permitted. And the brother said, then what other schemes can we invest in? 
and he spoke about the Tata Ethical Fund, and I'm, and I'm aware of Tata Ethical Fund. Uh, Tata Ethical Fund is a mutual fund that has been launched by Tata Company, mainly for the Muslims and the Jain, so that, you know, they try and make it Sharia compliant. Those don't have a Sharia board, per se, but they try whatever knowledge they have, they try and make it uh, Sharia compliant. And I remember that many years ago, I think it was more than 10, 15 years ago, when I had invested in the scheme and I found that certain of the stocks were not Sharia compliant, and we spoke to the management and immediately they sold those share. But if you want to invest in a Sharia compliant mutual fund, see to it it's a Sharia fund which has a Sharia board. It's more safer. Even Tata Ethical Fund, you can invest in India, but it doesn't have a Sharia board per se. At least didn't have that time. So regarding, and this Tata Ethical Fund, if you invest, the government does not give you tax exemption. So which funds can you invest in? There are many funds known as unit trust funds. These are government funds. And some of the mutual funds, by nature, they are Sharia compliant. For example, pharmaceutical. If you buy a mutual fund which is mainly involving in pharmaceutical, by nature it is halal. And you have to check whether they have taken loans or not, which is very easy. So if you invest in unit, <laughs> unit trust, which are mainly into pharmaceuticals, it becomes halal. So what you have to do, that you have to consult a person who has knowledge of the Islamic Sharia and who is well versed with Islamic finance, who will be able to guide you that which funds which are permitted by the government, which give tax exemption and which are Sharia compliant. So by nature there are some funds may not having a Sharia board, but by nature they become Sharia compliant. So you can invest in such funds. And the other option that you have is that since you say that you want to give your complete money in charity, the other option I can suggest to you is that you can give donation or your zakat to NGOs or non-government organization, Muslim organization, which have the 80G certificate. 80G certificate means it's a certificate that if you give donation to these organizations which have the certificate, half the money that you donate is tax exempted. For example, if you donate 100,000 rupees, 1 lakh rupees, to an, an Islamic organization which has the ATG facility, for example, in Bombay, our IRF Educational Trust, which runs the Islamic International School, which is to run, that had the ATG certificate. That means anyone who donated so 100,000 rupees to this trust, IRF Educational Trust, then 50%, 50,000 of that amount they donated is tax exempted. So if you reach the highest lab, we have to pay 30% tax. So if you give 100,000, 50,000 is exempted from tax. So 30% of 50,000, that means you are saving 15,000 if you donate to an organization which has ATG. It doesn't have to be a Muslim organization, but if you want to kill two birds at one stone, if you want to give your zakat money as a donation or as a zakat to a Muslim organization or as a donation, your lilla money, then 50% of that amount given is tax exempted. There are certain organizations which also have ATG facility, though they are few in number. ATG means that organization is doing some research for the benefit of humanity or, you know, it is a hospital. So government gives ATG facilities, sorry, ATC. ATG is those which government exempts half. ATC is a certificate given to those organizations. If you donate, 100% of your money is tax exempted. So surely there are some Muslim organizations which have got the ATC facility. So once you give donation here, then the complete amount that you have donated is tax exempted. And since you want to give donation, but natural, when you invest in a Sharia compliant uh, mutual fund which is permitted by the government as tax exemption, the tax is saved 
even the money belongs to you and maybe after investment you can utilize it but in charity the money goes away you get the tax exemption so that's the reason if you have an amount of zakat that you have to give or you have made a niya i will donate 10 percent of my income or 20 percent of my income so if you give to such institutions which have the 80 g then you get 50 percent exemption of that amount if you give to organization which have got the 80 c maybe running a medical center or a hospital then 100 percent of the amount is exempted so this is a second option that you have besides investing in sharia compliant funds which are exempted by the government of india hope that answers the question